In him, aspirant, arrogance, endeavors for profit, adoration and distinction, or deliberate offenses to the great devotees are not seen. Devotee saying, I don't know why Babaji is starting the commentary by quoting uh, Jiva Goswami. I don't see. Maybe it becomes clear later. Gurudev. This is pure sadaka. Pure sadaka wants to go for the shelter of the Swamini. He wants to see the smile. He wants to see the feelings of Swamini and Krishna every moment in his bhajan. For that purpose, he is putting this quote from Srila Jiva Goswami, the pure sadhaka's nature, what is happening in his life. Devotee, they, Radha Krishna, have stolen his heart. The clever couple have stolen his heart. Ah, yes, saying Guru, Gurudev saying. What he can do? This nature happens because his heart is stolen by this clever couple. by their smile. Gurudev, therefore, we need the association. Association of whom? Association of those whose heart is stolen. And his behavior is like this, described by Srila Jeeva Goswami. That is goal of life. Devotee, if we don't have Shraddha, faith. Does it mean that grace has not come to our life? Gurudev, ja. Shraddha of Gurudev, Nishta in Gurudev, full faith in Gurudev. If it has not happened, then we will never develop taste in the scripture. We will never develop taste in the holy name. Because we don't believe this. We don't have Shraddha in my heart. My heart is still not stolen by divine couple. 
devoti aha <laughs> when inside will change then outside can change if you push yourself to change outside you cannot change outside so this was uh, gurudev's sharing in vrindavan 4th november 2013 mm, 10 years ago mm. We cannot find peace in the material world. On and on and on. We want to satisfy ourselves, but we cannot find peace. Sometimes some flesh is coming. I do something and a flesh is coming by the grace. This flesh is coming to create greed inside of me. When this greed grows deeper, it grows. If greed is not deeper, it will remain only in flesh. Darkness will be more. And I will become crazy, living in darkness. I have to practice so that this flesh can grow deeper. Do the sadhana to be always in debt. Why I come to the temple? To fix myself. To fix this mercy of understanding that I am a soul. Because when I do not see my soul, I cannot see the soul of others. I see only my body my senses, my mind, and I have doubts in others. And this is my practice since many lives, lifetimes. Therefore, I came to you, my dear Radha Mohan. I surrender to you. And I need one person who can show me the way. What is the way?
the way of love. I want to love you. I want to feel you in every living soul. Your mercy will come when I will see you everywhere. If your mercy is not there, I will not realize this and I will feel disconnected in my life. When mercy will come, the first thing what happens is that I realize that those who feel with God are all servants of God. Hari means God. If they say Allah, they are also respectful. If they say Jesus or God, they are also respectful. If they practice any of the religions, they are respectful and connected. And I will respect them. Because God is living in their, in their heart. Radha Mohan is in their heart. How, can, how you can see him in other place than the heart? Krishna says that in the heart I am living, so there is no other way. And when you serve other living beings, your service goes directly to Radha Mohan. And Radha Mohan are showing the way to realize this. This is the mercy. This is their love. Without knowing, unknowingly, He penetrates the heart and shows the way. He helps that you can see Him everywhere. I want to see you everywhere. This is divine vision. When you will give me this vision, this divine vision? Fight with him. Discuss with him. Then he will reveal himself. This is divine vision. And right now, our consciousness is in our plastic body. We are aware of our plastic body. But we need 
to be aware of our spiritual body. Sida deha, svarupavesh. To be aware of our svarupa. And it will happen automatically when we shift our consciousness to our Siddha Deha, we will forget about our plastic body. Without being aware of our Siddha Deha, we cannot relish rasa. We will stay empty. Mother gives first birth, birth of body. Guru gives second birth, Diksha. When by Guru Kripa we realize our Siddha Deha, this is the third, final birth. No more plastic body. That is our goal. Real scriptural scriptural faith, Shastra Shraddha. Today in the morning, we studied following wonderful words. Aho, some clever couple that is playfully laughing and joking with each other in Vrindavan, showing the power of greatly astonishing rasa, has stolen my heart. Aho, some clever couple that is playing, laughing and joking with each other in Vrindavan, showing the power of greatly astonishing rasa, has stolen my heart. Commentary Srila Jiva Goswami has said that when a real scriptural faith has arisen in the heart of the sadaka, he gains a wonderful perseverance in bhajan and he will certainly give up everything that is obstructing his devotion. So in his Bhakti Sandarbha, Jiva writes, when scriptural faith has arisen in the heart of the aspirant, Regardless whether the aspirant has attained perfection or not, a wonderful perseverance will always be seen in his worship. 
like the Svarna Sidi Lipsia Nyaya, logic from the means which is used to turn metals like copper into gold. Hmm. The way of thinking that turns copper into gold. In such a sadaka, arrogance, endeavors for profit, adoration and distinction, or deliberate offenses to the great devotees are not seen. This may sound to you like Vaidhi Sadhana Bhakti, inspired by faith in Shastra. But the key is to read this quote from Jiva Goswami as describing the person whose heart has been stolen. Your realization, your realization of that love in the flow will make you all crystal clear. Radhe. Jai Radhe. Any question? You see, when it is crystal clear, no questions. I see many places there are after class so many questions are there <laughs> because not clear too complicated <laughs> <laughs> but it is not complicated it's natural for the soul to love. But it becomes complicated when there is not this behavior. When we use our mind, then is the complications. When you use your heart, not complicated. Mm. So this is from 5th March 2014, Yoga Mandali, Saratoga Springs, New York. So Gurudev is talking. When I'm talking about yoga, I'm talking about that I want to meet with you. And how you meet. When you meet, you embrace each other. That is the meeting. You want to be together, but you don't want to merge. 
two lovers meet, what do they do? They embrace, they share their feelings. They want to exchange love. That is Bhakti Yoga. When love is in the action, that is bhakti. When I want to do for you in love, that is bhakti. When my soul, this living identity, wants to do for you, my dear, because I'm so much in love with you. I don't want to see other things. I want to develop a relation with you. I would like to become your friend or mother, or I want to be your conjugal lover, any relation. There are three different kinds of transcendentalists, Gyani, then Yogi, and Bhakta. Gyani, knowledge. I want to develop knowledge. Where I will reach? I will reach up to understanding of Supreme Personality of Godhead. That I know you, God. I know myself, that my center is the soul, and I know you are God. But, Mind gives, gives me doubts again and again. And then I read books to solve them. Yogi, to reach God. But without my center, I cannot reach God. I always forget myself. What is my center? Who I am? I cover myself with my bodily consciousness and then I deviate. Material cannot bring me to spiritual. To come to higher center, you have to come to your center. This is Bhakti Yoga. How to come from that center to this center. That we have to find out and investigate. Next chapter. With relation or without relation?
abhakta devoti in passive stage is called jnana bhakta he is doing business with the lord he is coming to lord bringing bad karma and for exchange he wants something from the lord The next devotee is devotee in action and he wants to do something for the Lord. You develop one relation with the Supreme Center and you develop perfection in that behavior. For example, if I want to see you as a friend, then I have to see you in all creation like a friend. If I don't see friends in all living souls, and everywhere and I don't make friendships then what type of friendship do I have with you if I have from my center to supreme center relationship as a friend then not by talking but by action all creation I have to consider as a friend that is God consciousness where I look I see only you because I've fallen in love with you that loving mood that action is devotion there are two kinds of meditation meditation with closed eyes sitting and <laughs> meditation of a lover to his beloved the beloved is thinking of their lover without their eyes closed that is real meditation when you are very close in heart you don't have to meditate with closed eyes that is a spiritual devotional practice that is bhakti and when this bhakti is happening in every moment in my life every action is moving in this way that is 
divine consciousness. It's not only that I have to go to some temple or church and only there I can meditate, but in every place I can improve. In every place I can improve. Church, temple, and such are the places where I can learn how to meditate and improve. If I will not learn, how will I improve? I have to come. And I have to practice like this. Krishna is called the stealer of the hearts. Mm. He steals the clothes of the gopis, meaning he steals our material covering He also steals butter. And what is the butter? It's coming from milk. When you churn milk, then some butter will come. Means in one whole life period, that love which you received, that is butter. Mm -hmm. In your whole life, if something is the butter, it's your love. And I want to give it to others. And he, Krishna, comes to me and says, Oh, this is mine. <laughs> this butter is for me. Why you want to give it to others? I will steal this. You do what you like. But love, you give to me. He comes, Krishna comes, to steal from us. <laughs> How we relate with others. Oneness. Oneness is when I'm so close with you. That's one. I have so much intense love for you 
that I know what you feel. And what I feel, you know. That's oneness. My feelings, you understand. Your feelings, I understand. That is in between you and me. Oneness. Could you read once again this last sentence? My feelings you understand, and your feelings I understand, and that is in between you and me. <laughs> this is our relationship. It's called oneness. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> so, only knowing that God is existing without any relation. That will make you dry, no relation. And a loving action to move to him is devotion. And this devotion is not coming from God. Why God would say, Krishna would say, act for me. I have to learn from my spiritual master who has this. And spiritual master, where did he learn it? From God? No. Why God would teach? God wants to feel that. <laughs> if you have it or not. This comes from Sri Radhika. She is always in love with Krishna. She gives prema. She is the goddess of love. She is source of love. Krishna is trying to find this love. And this love comes from Radhika. Radhika is giving bhakti. So, Radha and Krishna are one. But they become two. And they are two and they become one. What Krishna wants from you is your love. What can you give to him? All creation belongs to him. But Krishna cannot create 
love. Mm. You cannot buy love in a supermarket. And you cannot cultivate love somewhere. <laughs> This love, bhakti, is coming from Radhika. If you change word Radha to Dhara, it means flow. Bhakti is a flow, like flowing to the ocean. Everyone likes to go to the ocean. Why? To see the waves, waves of the ocean. Krishna is the ocean. And the waves are Radhika. Mm. Waves are coming out of the ocean and then merging in the ocean. And what is the difference between ocean and waves? The feelings are coming from the waves and the waves are bringing you inside the ocean mm. if you stand and waves catch you they will bring you into the ocean So this is Radhika. She can bring you to Krishna. Without waves, there is no taste in looking only the ocean. That is Vrindavan. Without coming, to Vrindavan. You cannot understand Radhika's mercy. Everything, everything is flowing from Radhika. This is her grace. When this flow will come in your heart, you will be fully satisfied. Let us compare the empire of Krishna and the empire of Radhika. Krishna is God. And of all living beings, only humans can understand about God, right? And 50% of humans are atheists. They don't believe in God. So, Krishna's empire consists of 50% of believers. Now, let us look 
at the empire of Radhika, empire of love. <laughs> Every human has love. Even if he doesn't know where to give, he gives love any place. <laughs> but any soul <clears throat> who lives in this material body, who doesn't want to love, all want to love. If we go to animals, don't they love someone? A dog, a cat, a bird. Everyone understands love, right or not? In the garden, trees, flowers, plants. They understand your loving exchange or not. In the forest, every creation, they understand your love or not. In every place, the empire of love is bigger than the empire of God. <laughs> So, Radhika's empire is bigger than Krishna's empire. Sorry, I'm from Vrindavan, so I'm telling like this. <laughs> Says Gurudev. What is spiritual life? Feelings. Without feelings, it's all material. We close our feelings. We have to improve our feelings. And this can happen only by the grace of Radhika. Mm. And when these feelings will come to you, you need not bother for Krishna. Krishna has to come to you. <laughs> And this comes only when I realize the center and I want to know about super center. <laughs> if the goal is not fixed, then no greed will come in our life. Mm. And if the goal is fixed, there is only one kind of greed. How to develop a relation and how to increase love. Mm. Many say, I practice 20 years. I'm dried up, burned out. I have no taste for bhakti. Because they didn't do bhakti. Bhakti is this. Bhakti is love. Why would they dry up? <laughs> because they don't exchange like this. Mm. And only knowing the God, 
what I will do. If I don't have love for you, then no exchange is there. Mm. It will make you dry, my dear. Mm. Without love, without mercy of Radhika, only knowing God, it's not working. Mm. The base is love. Many come to Vrindavan, to me, and say, after 20 years of practicing, I don't feel anything. And I say, I come, stay for a while here. And after 15 days of staying there, they say, wow, <laughs> everything is crystal clear. Wow. Yeah. Your realization of that love in the flow will make you all crystal clear. The goal of yoga is bhakti. If yoga is not bringing you to bhakti, then you are not practicing yoga, really. We have so many blockages and bhakti releases these blockages and bhakti opens us. And when the flow starts, it's non-stopping. It's the flow of love. Only to receive. And then you can distribute to all places. This is bhakti. Why we suffer? Why also God needs love? And what love is Mary Magdalene? Se says there is no sin. And she says material things cannot do sin. When material is mixed into spiritual, then there is sin. And that real sin is that I have forgotten that I am a soul. And that I've forgotten my eternal relation with God. That is my sin. Mm. There is no other sin. And because of this forgetfulness, we are all in the forest fire of suffering. So, we are suffering 
and he is suffering because he is God. Because God has no one to give him love. They only go to ask something for something from God. Imagine if someone comes to you only to ask from you all the time. Will you not be in suffering? <laughs> you will feel it. He suffers because he is God. Because everyone are coming to ask for something. <laughs> he wants to run away from that. He wants to exchange love. <laughs> and so, he becomes supreme. This is the highest supreme, that God also needs love. If we would not have needed love, why he would have created so many human beings? Why God would not have lived alone? Because he cannot live alone. If out of so many human beings he created, one will give love to me, then I will be happy that someone will remember me. Mm. I will feel lucky that someone loves me. One guest is adding, especially one beautiful girl. Radha. Gurudev. You know, that beautiful girl is his teacher of love. And this beautiful girl is a part and parcel of God. Being the Hladini Shakti of God, the love of God becomes that beautiful girl. Mm. Because you cannot love yourself. You need some partner so you can love each other. So he, God, also needs one partner who only can give love without asking anything. Mm. Love means you have no demand for that. If you demand something, your love is conditional, covered in this way we love with conditions. But this beautiful girl loves without conditions and if you want to know more 
you have to come to Vrindavan. Without that, you cannot understand that beautiful girl. You have to touch the land of that beautiful girl. You have to touch Vrindavan. So, this was from Gurudev's class in Sofia, Bulgaria, 1st July 2014. Why are all Christians only talking about Jesus? Why no one talks about the Father of Jesus? Because lovers of God are more important than God. Mm. Because Radhika is more important than Krishna. Jai Ho! Jai Gurudev! <laughs> <laughs> Lovers of God are more important than God. Radhika is more important than Krishna. We can see any lover, the life of any lover. The lover is more famous than her beloved. The lover makes everything sweet, more soft, and more easy to understand. Without Yashoda Maya, mm. without Radhika, the pastimes of Krishna will not be this sweet always in sweetness nothing is affecting me pain is also become becoming sweet now sweetness madur is there love is there prema makes everything sweet Why I give the example of Jesus? Just see his relation with his father. Love gives you feelings. You don't know why tears are coming, but maybe this is the result of love. In all the Holy Scriptures, all Vedas, all Buddhist Scriptures, love is the main subject. If you understand this, all is crystal clear, in your life. What is your relation? You start behaving like that. Lover wants to please their beloved. First, you practice 
that Krishna is the supreme personality of Godhead. And now you have to forget about that Krishna is supreme personality of Godhead. Love moves 24-7. All love, what you see, is Radha. Radha converts herself. She wants to be the smallest. One of her names is Rai. Rai. Very, very small. Like the master said. Very small and golden. God is not small like that. He is the biggest in everything. But she, she is not like that. Hmm. Maybe we can stop here. If someone would like to share something, to say something, what touched his heart or her heart. Hmm. No. Guru Dev, would you like to say something? Oh, yes. No? Okay. <laughs> Huh? Now it's all about But you can say, I no. know this and no. Again, repeat. Please repeat oh, again. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> so, it's written, Radhika convers converts herself. She wants to be the smallest. One of her names in Zarai, very, very small. Like the master said, very small and golden. God is not small like that. He is the biggest in everything. But Radhika, she is not like him. <laughs> yeah. Radhi, Radhi. Yes. Uh, Guru, they couldn't follow because too many guests. Too many guests. Okay. Okay. So continue. If somebody else wants to share. Okay, okay, thank you. Rade, rade, everyone. <laughs> hmm? Okay, then we will finish for today. I hope you enjoyed Gurudev's words.
and the sharing. Yeah, we could learn and uh, rem be reminded of so many things, important things in our life. Hmm. Yeah. So I wish you all love. And uh, <laughs> rather, rather. I don't know anything, honestly. This is the worst words. I'm instrument, and Gurudev is sharing from my mouth. I have no capacity, I don't know anything, I have no qualification. Believe me, I also surprise. Who is talking this? <laughs> really, I'm asking to them why. Uh, how I can say this thing? I don't know anything. So please give mercy to me that I keep my connection with my spiritual master. He navigate me for the real good. This blessing I need from all of us now. And how they collect my uh, American tour, Vienna tour, Bulgarian tour, I don't know this. <laughs> Thank you. I, of course, of me surprising. One day, I was listening the uh, Italian Kirtan recording, and in that recording, there were some of my lectures for there in Croatia, in the Deva Pran home. And it was surprising to me, wow! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where is this um, hiding, but I want to know again to understand. <laughs> really, I said this. <laughs> yeah, I want I want to search this Italian program instrument with it. I want to listen. Really, I say this honestly. <laughs> If I know anything, then I can remember, right? But I don't remember, yeah. I feel I cannot do this. <coughs> so Guru Kripa, this is Guru Kripa, when we become instrument of our spiritual master.